about set up for the first roof panel, which is pretty exciting. We've got this guy going in here, which is uh, ripped down to the seven degree angle to suit the pitch of the roof. We've got a couple of screws in. We're just going to pull that up a little higher so that it's all nice and straight. Then I think we're ready to bring the first panel up here. So pretty exciting times. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Strip it. So we have to put some screws down into this top plate to secure the join where the panels meet. They are connected with this sort of double infill timber. So they're all nailed through the top into each of these pieces of timber and they're glued and screwed. We've got to drive these big beasts down through the sit panel and through that double timber that's in there into the top plate. These guys are 225 mil long, they call them a 16 gauge landscape screw. So we're going to pre-drill. We've got a spade bit here, it's only a six mil spade bit. That'll work okay to take out the, the bulk of the guts of this thing. I just don't want to split these timbers here. I want to be able to drill through at least most of the way. How far will we get with that? Yeah, we'll get most of the way through it without forcing this timber to split. I don't want to go through the center of them. I'd much rather go through one and then the other alternating back into the top of this. So we'll be able to catch that top plate quite nicely, even on a bit of an angle. Uh, from where they'll sit with this washer up underneath on the top of the sit panel, they'll get a, a good bite into that top plate. Okay, we did just come out the bottom of that. But that's okay. That means it's done its job. That's good and tight, actually, because that's timber underneath there. It's not actually compressing the panel at all, which is nice. Um, with those guys up the end there on this top of this wall here, and pretty much wherever there's a join in the walls, and these on here, in previous videos, you might have seen the bugle heads, well, landscape screws actually, uh, when they go through just the panel itself without having any timber there, uh, you actually get a little bit of squash in the top of the panel because it's only foam underneath and it's a fairly decent surface area with a washer it'll actually just suck in the the panel and if you go too far you can hear it start to complain so uh, this is really good and solid it's not even it's not stripping out that's for sure and uh, it's not compressing the panel because it's sitting on solid timber underneath that so that's really nice they're going in well we just had our delivery of trusses. So the trusses for the carport have just turned up. They actually arrived on the same truck, the same fella that delivered our shed 
uh, two years ago, I suppose. So that was good. He managed to see the place at the beginning and now he's sort of seeing the, uh, the progress that we're making with the house. We've just got another panel up on the tractor. Gonna slip that into place and uh, keep at it. Yeah. 